Hello and welcome to Only Frames, your favourite below average eight ball pool content provider, bringing you action from the Ramsgate Rail Pool League Invitational. That intro took me 26 attempts, but Scott on his first attempt potties the cue ball off the break. What a haddock. As you'll see on the right hand side of the table, that is the current league standings. Scott needs to win. 5-0 against Chris, also known as Nob, for him to just tie with the legend that is Tom at the top of the table. Two heavyweights of the division going at it. What will happen if they tie? Scott needs to win 5-0 first. Stay tuned. How will he fare? Is he going to change his ways after being such a boring loser all season? Will this be a good game as i am scared that it may not be i'm introducing a new feature into my commentary today what i am gonna do and all of you need to play along in the comments i am gonna hide oasis song titles within my commentary all you need to do is identify them and let me know which song i referred to in the comments some will be easy some will be hard but you're gonna have to roll with it and let us know any of the song titles that you spot in the comments scott is looking to get a one nil lead nice and early here but he has found himself in a right predicament as he stitched himself and pots the cue ball for the second time today bringing chris back to the table to give himself a chance to help Tom win the league. Little by little, he's going to clear these yellows and hopefully his master plan will come to fruition and he will win this first frame and get Tom the title that he deserves. Only three yellows now stand between him and and the eight ball but he has missed that yellow and slowly but surely his dreams are sliding away bringing scott back to the table some might say scott is a great guy i would never say that he's an absolute moron and has missed that by an absolute mile but he has got lucky and fluked the stitch, I believe. I don't believe Nob can see this. He's got his butt in the air. Ooh-wee! But he did manage to hit that yellow with a bit of swerve. That was absolutely supersonic. Lovely shot. He done well to hit that there. Giving Scott another chance to try and take this frame and get 20% of the way there for the victory that he needs. Looking to cross double it. That's no win here. That's another foul. What's that for in the frame? He is the new Louis. Bringing Chris back to the table. He has a shot and a visit. And this for 1-0. But he's not on that last yellow. Come on, Nob. We believe in you. You can do it. Do it for the people. Who would you prefer to win the league? Tom or Scott, let us know in the comments with Nob almost handing the frame to Scott there. That would not have been the start that Tom or the people wanted. Scott now, long double on that red, gets nowhere near once again. This is getting embarrassing. Chris, this is another chance. Finds and knuckles. What are you doing to me, man? I can't take this. Presenting Scott the Easiest of opportunities to make it 1-0. He is a lucky little swine. That's over the hole. Eight to the bottom right. It's 1-0 to Scott as we move on to the second frame. We join the action midway through the second frame with Scott chirping like a songbird trying to play exhibition shots just because for a change he is 1-0 up but as all of us would have predicted he was unable to pot it when it wasn't over the hole presenting knob with a real chance to level this game up and do us all a favor and end scott's dreams of winning the group and progressing into the top division Unfortunately, Scott will undoubtedly be in the top division this season due to the poor quality of opponent that he has so far faced. And all of a sudden, this is the easiest of chances for 2-0. But can he take it out? This guy thinks he's a rock and roll star, but he is certainly more choir boy than any of that. Now looking to play the double. That's actually a very good shot. But as he found position, that cue ball held up enough. 
Can he take this down to the bottom left? That is absolutely nowhere near. That's half a world away, but he gets lucky and it sits over the pocket. But Nob now is back to the table. He has four reds remaining. He does have that tricky ball on the right-hand cushion. He looks to take it now, but he can't force it in. But he can get second prize and find the snooker, giving Scott a real predicament, a real head scratcher. What can he come up with here? He's looking off the one cushion, and he manages to keep it out. What an absolute plonker. This guy is so bad. He can't pot them when they're all over the hole. He had a big side. Go let it out, would you, man, and stop crying your heart out. As we go on, Scott's now coming back to the table. He's wiping that grease off his hands. He's a dirty little swine, but he does have this one over the pocket, plays it off the cushion nicely to give himself the easiest of eight balls into the middle to make it 2-0. Duly dispatched and onto the third frame we go with these balls looking absolutely diabolical. Scott rolls a simple one to the middle and is pretending like he is trying to clear these up. I will tell you now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if Scott clears these up, I will donate a hundred pound to a charity of the most liked comment in the comment section because I knew that was going to happen. People all around the world know Scott does not play attacking shots. He's Mr. Pragmatism. He always looks for the safety option. This guy wears a condom when he has a secret night in with himself, but he is back to the table because Nob was unable to punish him and he is blocking the pockets, making it tricky for his opponent as usual not back to the table now probably should have tried to clear that yellow tried to hit that on the way in and develop the pocket but he hasn't done so but he is going to take this one on to the bottom left hand pocket and that is a nice pot that was pretty good cue in there but he is going to have an issue with that red down at the bottom right hand pocket but he's unable to take that one to the top right giving scott his 37th opportunity of the game to make it 3-0. No doubt Scott will be looking for a safety here. This guy lives on a diet of cigarettes and alcohol, but he is unable to be a cavalier when it comes to the table. And he's forever as conservative as Rishi Sunak. Now looking to take that one down to the bottom right, almost gets lucky and flicks in off the red. Once again, giving Nob a chance to win that frame that the whole world wants to see. Stand by me as we all cheer Nob on, but he can't find the double. Oh my God, this is going to be agonising today. I can already sense it. It feels like I'm having to live forever through this. This is painful to endure. We should have got one of the other commentators on this game today. This isn't fair, and I'm going to have to blame the editor-in-chief himself as Nob once again can't find the heart of the pocket and sends the balls flying round the table. Scott will be happy as though he's got himself a morning glory here, which at his age doesn't happen. Both them balls dropped, and he was disappointed, although it has given him the perfect opportunity to win the frame. That is the kind of guy we are dealing with. He gets lucky and he's disappointed. This is unbelievable. Can he pot that eight to the top? No, of course he can't. Come on, Nob. Clear him up. It's what we all need. We need this game over as soon as possible. But he finds a knuckle again. But the cue ball stays up. This is tricky cueing. That pocket is right in the way. Scott's looking to send it top right. But once again, he was closer to the middle pocket, giving Nob another chance. But he needs the pot here with that eight ball sat right over the hole. But once again, he finds the knuckles. And surely now, on his 100th attempt at the frame, Scott will finally seal this third to make it 3-0. He's 60% of the way there. But can he hold his nerve as Nob breaks in the full frame? That's a lovely whack there by Nob, but unfortunately nothing has gone down, giving Scott an opportunity to make this four at his first visit in the frame. This guy is no force of nature, so do not expect anything special from 
here. Scott now looking to take this red down to the bottom left-hand pocket. This would really cement this as a great opportunity, but he does knock that eight ball safe. Will that prove costly as this frame continues? Or can we see Scott actually clear the table for potentially the first time in his life? As I say this, he misses a gimme, but he can't look back in anger because he's got a job to focus on. Where did it all go wrong for the guy in that clearance attempt? Nob now taking on the yellows, but as ever, Scott has got lucky and covered a pocket that Nob would have needed to clear these up for himself. Scott has covered that bottom right-hand pocket, which has has given him a leg up in the frame. Now all of a sudden he comes back to the table. These are really, really all there. These are so easy and still he's looking at a safety. Put the ones in the middle. You can see them. Oh no, maybe he can't. He's playing off the cushion. And he's missed it completely. What a haddock. He's given Nob a shot and a visit after trying something special, showing his true colours there, completely missing the ball. But it doesn't look like Chris is going to punish him at this visit. Looking to take this yellow to the middle. He needs to settle down. Nob's a good player. He pots a lovely ball, but it would appear he's rushing. Maybe it's where Scott has slowed him down. So when he gets to the table, he feels he's in a hurry. These are what the slow players do to you it's mental warfare and Scott is a master of it I will give him that now this is a massive opportunity the only tricky ball is the eight ball but he's got the angle to develop it but will he try no he will not he's rolling them in they're all there this can only go wrong for him what is he gonna do here he just taps in and doesn't even think about position and he forgets to even pot it this guy is so bad and he could tie with me at the top of the league how will we decide how to end this this wasn't written in the script there is no course of action that we know we can take if you know a way that we should decide who wins this group if scott can get to five nil please let us know in the comments. I think for everyone's pleasure or lack of, we should never play each other again. So I think we need to come up with a new way, a new video that we can create to decide who is going to top the table and move into Division 1 with bragging rights and the money in their pocket. No doubt Scott would be trying to take that. Look at he's a greedy boy as he rolls that yellow correction red into that middle pocket. I couldn't see properly due to all the tears in my eyes from the boredom and knowing I may need to face Scott again. Don't do it to me as he doubles one. That's actually a great shot. Scott needs to win this frame. The world wants Nob to win it as we move on into the fifth. He He's absolutely larruped them. They've gone everywhere, but nothing has gone in. Can Chris clear them to end Scott's dreams? This is all Scott has to live for. He has nothing else in his life. If he doesn't top this table, what will he do? Will he give up and take up another sport? I'm suggesting bowls because that is boring and will fit Scott's nature down to the ground as he rolls that yellow into the middle. He does have two problematic balls. They're on that bottom right-hand cushion. Will he look to get on early? He's trying to put that one, which he was nowhere near doing. And that was so, so bad. How is this guy going to be top of the league? I'm not sure. Come on, Louis Diaz. You can do it. You'll never walk alone. That's what I'll continue to say all the time that Chris has a chance of spoiling the party here for Scott. Scott potentially looking to foul. Yeah, what a surprise. No one's going to call him out, though. Scott gets away with everything in this league. He's best mates with the editor. For me, that's a deliberate foul and should be loss of match. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments as Chris doesn't punish him. But he has another visit after that piece of skullduggery from Scott and he does eventually pot a red ensuring that he continues his time at the table but he's left with awkward queuing his butts in the air Ooh. 
but he can't continue on his potting spree, giving Scott another attempt to end this and to ensure that he enters the playoff against Tom. Whether that be an eight ball pull or scrabble or anything, I'm pretty sure I'll beat him at just about any challenge that he wishes to take me on at. I believe I'm a better man than him. Will he put his money where his mouth is? And he owes me a breakfast. And when he pays for it, I'm getting a mega because he would do the same to me. Now, Nob back at the table. This is a real chance, but he went for the double. Maybe the cut using Scotch Yellow would have been the better option. But to be fair to Chris, he does not know the significance in this game. And he doesn't know how you guys feel about myself and Scott. I'm sure you are all Team Tom. Let us know, Team Tom or Team Scott, in the comments where your loyalty lies. Scott is also a commentator on here and is forever unfair to me. I never say anything bad about him. Scott is much like a slinky. He isn't good for much, but he's great fun to push down the stairs. Now just two reds and the eight ball between him and the one frame required. Looking to cut this one to the bottom left, but he can't. And that could be that. Scott's back to the table. He's got this plant and I'm pretty sure that yellow goes into the middle. These are easy peasy. If you want to win a group, you must be taking these kind of chances out. I know I would take it out, but does Scott have the minerals? Now the easiest of chances, natural position. This isn't nailed on though. I've seen Scott miss these before. He's sending it to the middle. It's creeping and it makes it the handshaking shooing it's 5-0 Tom and Scott qualify at the top of group A how will they decide who should be the champion let us know your thoughts in the comments